Dr. Frank Lipman at the 21st Age Management Medical Group Convention at the fabulous Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, welcome to the Age Management yes, Medical Group. It's, thank it's you. Great thank to have you very here. much. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, fantastic. So yeah. I understand that you do some very interesting work along the lines of uh, memory and hearing loss. Could yes. you tell us a little bit about what you found over the last decade that's changed developmentally and how we can treat hearing loss and memory loss? Yes, it, it started with, with um, several American physicians, for example, Harvard graduate, Dr. Jonathan Wright, the Renton Clinic in, in, in Washington State. And, and he found out by accident that his, his patients in his 80s with severe hearing loss and presbycusic patients could, could have improved he hearing by taking oral capsules of aldosterone, low-dose aldosterone. And, for example, in one 86-year-old patient, uh, improve, hearing improved in the right ear from 21% to 84%, in the left ear from 3% th to 63%. Those are incredible numbers. Yeah. And, and this is a treatment that is not commonplace and not well known here in the United States. Yeah, and then subsequently to that, there was um, there in, at the University of Portland, they did a, a clinical study there, and then also four studies by the government. The NIH has done a study to validate that the hearing will really improve with aldosterone for those that are aldosterone deficient. And therefore, you, you have to have a blood or urine test to know that you're aldosterone deficient and it, if it's from genetic causes or perhaps some um, damage but from drugs or loud music, you, you can get some rejuvenation there in your hearing. So one of the keys is that they actually have to be aldosterone deficient. Oh yeah, I, I, I know immediately it, there's, there's certain signs and symptoms of aldosterone deficiency. What are those? Well, for example, um, the, the typical aldosterone deficient person will have crow's feet called periorbital arytids and they'll have sharp lines, very sharp lines in their forehead, and typically if they, they lie down for a while and they stand up suddenly, they'll feel dizzy. And these, these are all clear signs of aldosterone deficiency. Is there also some overlapping adrenal insufficiency as well if they're aldosterone deficient? Well, it's, of course they could have other adrenal issues. Um, usually with aging, uh, cortisol rises and the other adrenal hormones fall, and so they probably need some, for example, some DHEA. And how do you feel about the use of pregnenolone uh, um, as well? Pre pregnenolone only with memory loss, because I, I know a lot of people that, that re react adversely to it. And when you say act adversely to pregnenolone, what things are you seeing that... Uh, well, they get headaches, um, they, they don't feel good. I mean, even with low dose pregnenolone, some people react that way. So I'd be really careful of that, unless you have memory loss. That's, that's, the, only, that's the only time it's called for. Yeah, very interesting. So what other advancements have you seen uh, in your field of endeavor? Well, okay, the Japanese have this very large research group in Japan where they've, they've done several clinical double-blind st uh, studies, one of them 120 patients by a professor Nakagawa, and he has found that um, the, the, the fine hair cells in the cochlea, the cochlea of the ear is the inner ear organ. It has 15,000 hair cells, and they, they vibrate to sound. And they deteriorate with time, especially if you have bad genes. And, and it, was thought, it was always thought that through, through a process called apoptosis, they would deteriorate and you never get your hearing back again. But it turns out that if you, if you apply um, two, two hormones, IGF-1 and growth hormone together, you can get significant boost and we're in not only hearing volume, like a hearing aid would give you, but also word recognition. Now, hearing aids will not give you improved word recognition, but I've, I've found in my research that, that these two substances will, will, in fact, give you improved word recognition, where you take a list of, of 50 monosyllable words, for example, and before, before reading the list, when you read the list without any treatment, you might recognize 36 to 38 words out of 50 monosyllable words. And then after treatment, the following morning, you'll, you'll be able to recognize 48 out of 50 monosyllable words. So that's really important. The, the hearing aids and cochlear implants will give you increased sound volume, but what do you do about word recognition? I and mean, that's really important. It's very important. And it almost seems as though, you know, here we could use hormone therapies to address hearing issues that 
you may not need to use any hearing aid because of it. Oh yeah, if, if you use the growth hormone IGF-1, you, you can be without your hearing aids for several days. You, you, get, you get such a boost from that. Um, my own hearing is improved by, temporarily by 40 decibels over a 17 hour period. And then, and then it, 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 backs, it backs down again, not, not quite to deficient levels, but you need to, you need to have a treatment every three days. Yeah. Very interesting. That, that's uh, always advancing the use of hormones and how they can benefit us as we age. Dr. Mm -hmm. Rob Kamenarek with Dr. Lippman here at the Age Management Medical Group in the Bellagio Hotel, Las Vegas. <laughs>